Hey, what's up you money makers? What's up you eyeless army? Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to cover once again OTC traded ticker symbol ILUS, eyeless International Inc. The stock is trading at 18 cents. I want to come uh, cover some of the very, very interesting pattern that I saw yesterday into the price point, into the volume, into the short volume as well. Normally with the short volume, the stock goes down in this particular use case uh, Ilus went up up and up so it went high higher and highest yesterday in the day range as you can see right here Ilus was 16 cents and 20 cents 20 cents is one of the highest price point that we have seen for ticker symbol ilus in 52 week range as well as you can see 0 0.0008 to 20 cent there is a strong strong sentiment i want to cover also it broke some of the support uh, and resistance lines as well that suggests pretty bullish pattern in ILS. However, I want you to also keep in mind that with having really, really huge short volume, it can go either side. But one of the things that also interesting to note is there could be potentially short squeeze because think about it and we'll talk about it in more detail. So I want to cover three things in this particular video. One, the first one is the short volume and the pattern that I saw recently with the increasing average volume for the trading for ILUS ticker symbol. The second thing is the price action yesterday. It went all time high. It broke some of the resistance level, which means something. So we'll talk about that. And the third thing is we'll talk about the trading strategy. I have seen a lot of comments from all of you for last few days to cover ILUS and what price point that you should think about. Let's say if you already own Ilus or if you want to get into Ilus because we have seen that Ilus has a massive run up in last one month more than 300 percent run up from five cents to 20 cents many of you bought Ilus at six cents and you were already three times on your investment which is a huge profit especially with the OTC traded stock this is really really a really really lucrative and profit gaining stock so let's talk about all that juicy information one thing that I want to talk about is the volume yesterday the volume yesterday was uh, 94 million against the average volume of 18.7 million which is a very very high volume not only that let's take a look right here but before we go to the chart I just wanted to mention the click on the like button ILS army click on the subscribe button as well 80% of my viewers are not even subscribers so it'll be super super helpful if you can click on the like button we can share this information with more and more people if you subscribe and turn on the notification bell you get notified every single time I drop the video it doesn't really cost you anything if you want to help support the channel join the patreon group it's $4.99 you can recoup your investment within just one trade for the month and for many month in future so help and support the channel if you can if not you can just click the like button Button and that will be super super helpful as well I'm not a financial advisor nor I'm a certified professional but I do a ton of research and I like to share with you hoping you can make informed financial decision I want to talk about uh, first the FINRA short volume or the FINRA short volume ratio take a look right here it's almost 95 million volume yesterday on the 13th of september with 94 million volume take a look from 40 it went to 94 so it's more than double just yesterday in the past we have seen 20 million 20 million 13 million 12 million 16 so on and so forth so yesterday's volume was five times more than what we saw at the end of the last month right here so it's a huge volume with that huge volume we saw the FINRA short volume of 53 million which puts that the short volume ratio at almost 56 as you can see right here prior to that we when we had 40 million total volume our short volume ratio was 64 so it should technically be very lower than 56 as we see right here with this high of a volume almost a two point uh, more than two times i want to say uh, more than two times volume the short volume ratio was not significantly down even though the stock went all the way high and i wanted to show you once again this chart and this chart shows you 
the RSI is high. RSI is 83. It's an overbought condition. The stock may go a little bit down because of the RSI that you see. So it's not pretty strong at the price point of 18 and a half cent right now. So you may see some pullback, but overall, it is looking pretty strong. If you take a look at the MACD, the MACD is pretty strong. Take a look, the blue line is MACD. MACD is about the orange line. Orange line is the signal. If MACD is about the orange line signal, that means that considering the moving averages and the technical charts, the stock is looking pretty good. And I'm talking about a little bit of weakness just in the intraday trading today because of the RSI. And this may work out. Take a look right here. When the stock price was around 5 cents right here, the RSI was 42. Now, if uh, before I change this, this view for six months, I wanted to quickly show you what this means. So if I uh, take a look, if we take a look at this chart right here, right? So this was one of the resistance level around the 17 cents. Now around the 17 cents, looking at this, there was, there, sh there was supposed to be a little bit of a resistance, but we did not really see the resistance. Take a look. This line went straight up like this and it went to 20 cents just yesterday. So what I'm trying to say is it has crossed the resistance level. That means it will try to find out and consolidate another level for itself. But given that the short volume is super, super high, and if the things don't work, because what is short volume? Short volume is basically someone is selling the stock and borrowing or renting it from someone else at the end of the expiration date they will have to buy back the stock and give it to whoever that they owe the stock and that's how it works now if it keeps going up up and up and no one wants to sell think about what's going to happen it will be a short squeeze so the short squeeze could possibly be part of this ILUS or ILS international game and that can spike this, uh, this stock once again into enormous level that we might not even think about because of the short squeeze and the short volume ratio the way we see higher especially with the higher volume if, yes if it was 12 million and if we saw 50 50 to 60 short volume ratio there might not be a big problem because we that was pretty normal but when the volume goes such a high and people decide not to sell whoever bought it that means it can trigger some sort of short squeeze and that's something i wanted to point out let's go back to this chart once again if we take a look at the one month chart, once again, 83 RSI, we saw a pretty good juicy, juicy candle right here, the green candle that pumped the price up for ILUS. If you take a look at the five day chart, once again, the five day chart, the RSI looks pretty uh, a pretty oversold condition that means it'll have more fuel based on the five day chart if you take a look at the one day chart though the one day chart also shows 36 rsi so in the long term in the long term it might be it might not be a lot uh, a lot to do with rsi and macd because we are seeing higher short volume one thing i wanted to also point out is the stock weights as you can see right here the message volume went 61 0.81% higher. That means there is a ton of there are a ton of people talking about ILS. And it, what that means is there is a strong community behind it. As you can see, more than 10,000 people are watching this particular ticker right here. It is an OTC traded stock, very small stock value. If people start buying like crazy, it may go higher and higher and higher, especially with the high short volume. The price went up 19, 20% just yesterday. The sentiment looks pretty, pretty good in my honest opinion it's 0.30 percent up just yesterday taking a look at the message volume think about it how the message volume was um uh, prior to prior to august and it was pretty low it started going up as you can see right here and it went at their highest price uh, at their highest point uh, from the message volume standpoint that means a strong community is talking about it it went down but quickly got back up super super quick and what that means is it is 
it, it is gaining a lot of traction. Lots and lots of eyeballs are looking into Eyeless and that's a very important thing. Now what Eyeless does, I yesterday covered in my previous video, but you want to, let's say, let's say if, you, if you want to think about the trading strategy, you want to consider a couple of things and I'll cover that real quick. The first thing is, once again, it is at the highest price point right now. Now, if you think about OTC stocks, if someone bought it at six cents, I think I have lots and lots of viewers who bought the stock around five to six cents because think about it before a month the stock was at five six seven cents if you take a look at the six months chart you should be able to see that the stock was for at five cents for a long period of time in july and august it went a little bit down to four cents and then it started going back up really really quickly and it went to 18 cents so many of you are sitting on a nice nice profit now when it happens with otc traded stock usually what i do personally and by no means i'm a financial advisor i sell some of my stocks to cover my principal amount or whatever the investment that i put out of my pocket that means i can have a free ride on the money uh, because that's not that's just the profit that is sitting into a particular script so you can do that however there are two big catalysts coming up for eyeless that you also want to keep in mind but hey one in hand is better than two in bush that's what i think so whenever i can book my profit take my investment back and just ride the wave with the profit that's the best strategy at least for myself you want to think for yourself as well Eyeless is a is an exceptional case though there are two big catalysts coming up for Eyeless. the first one is their european deal and the company has been keeping us pretty pretty up to date with their uh, whereabouts and what's going on latest with them the company mansion this is their um th this is their uh, ha twitter handle official twitter handle where they say we have big announcements coming over in next couple of weeks stay tuned one of the deal that they are doing is uh, in the european region significantly larger deal they someone used the word astronomical which is once again a massive deal for the company of this size especially for otc traded stock and the second thing is they're restructuring their stocks and uh, let me show you real quick what that means um, i have it right here when they restructure the stocks so right now their outstanding shares are 1.2 billion now what that means is once they restructure the stocks they are aiming to go below 1 billion mark in terms of the outstanding shares and this was announced by the company let's take a look right here company mentioned that Eyeless believes that it wouldn't be prudent to update the share structure at the otc midway through the reorganization as this would not reflect the full picture however completion of the first phase of the restructure or reorganization is imminent and they are trying to follow the best practices for their common shareholders so take a look Eyeless international provides an update with uh, with on its share structure reorganization uplisting plan and u.s rollout and rec recruitment appointments so this is super super massive so a couple of things once again to sum it up there are two things the first one is the european deal whenever they announce it is going to be big for the company and the second one is the share restructuring so you should also keep that in mind but you also want to keep in mind is we have seen that seen many times that buy the rumor and sell the news and that has been happening over and over and over again no matter if that's a stock or it's a cryptocurrency we have seen that the recent example is cardano so think for yourself what you want to do um, if you want to book the profit for after selling one third or one half of your stock and ride the wave with the profit basically free money and you ride the wave and check it out how far it can go that could be a strategy too so buy the rumors sell the news could be a thing as well so keep that in mind one more thing that excites me about eyeless and their potential opportunities in future is they own this four five companies right now what this company particularly does is they buy the existing company that are profitable that have a strong brand they have a strong market cap and strong presence and they buy them and they run the company they run the operation and reap the profit so they pay for the company and the companies get acquired so basically this is a merger and acquisition company they acquire the best in the industry that feeds into their 
product roadmap especially for ILS so these are the five companies that they own right now they were they are heavily invested into the fire safety aspects including the devices including the services including the support the firebug is one of the big thing that they have started focusing a ton more on firebug manufactures firefighting equipments around its disruptive and patented water mist technology which is once again patented technology and they are expecting to expand the market share super rapidly and this technology delivers increased uh, support for firefighters and their safety combined with reduced water consumption so it's a win-win situation it reduces the operational expenses it reduces the water supply and the demand as well and they have innovative technology that they're focusing a ton more on and th that's what it shows on their balance sheet as well take a look their balance sheet shows that the total asset is 244 million as you can see right here so uh, this is 244 million this is 24 million sorry so the total asset is uh, 24 million as you can see right here and looking at uh, their cash and hand total current asset is 7.5 million as well with the other asset of 16 million so very strong balance sheet very strong business they went profitable pretty quickly the profit is around half a million which is not small profit for an otc traded company there is ton going on with the company i just wanted to share this information with you because i've seen some of the great uh, pattern into the into the price point and this stock is doing amazingly good if you take a look at one month 162 percent up six months 7.90 seven percent up if you take a look at one year and i want to really quickly draw the chart from here to once again here to here and and it is it it, it is even if I take the chart from here to right here, it's 400% profit. So last 30 days, think about like 400 times profit from $4, $5, $6 to 20, uh, 6 cents. I'm sorry, 4 cents, 5 cents, 6 cents or 20 cents. It's a massive profit. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.